Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm gonna be reviewing the Daisy Marquez and BH Cosmetics palette. She did just release it like a week or two ago, I think. I'm just, I got it like two or three days ago, but I'm just now reviewing it because I haven't had time to actually sit down and make a look. But this is the look that I created today. I really wanted to use the teal, so I just added that in there and just incorporated it somehow. But anyways, if you would like to see how I got this look and you like to see what I think about the formula, then just keep watching. I'm so excited. It is finally here. I have the Daisy Marquez and BH Cosmetics palette. Ah! Oh, don't look at my address. Oh my god, it comes in such a cute bag. Okay, so it comes pretty much double bubble wrapped, which is really cool. This is like a little giant Ziploc bag, but the bubble wrap is part of the bag. And then inside is this beautiful palette. I bought mine as soon as she launched it, so I got it for $19, but I believe it's on retail now for $23. This is the palette. It is so adorable. I love the color and I love the concept of it. And then the, the top of it is magnetic. I'm pretty sure all of you already know this, but it's magnetic. It comes off. It has the film over it, the protective film. And then you put it in there like this. How freaking cute is that? Okay, so really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. I'm just gonna use concealer, which is also something that I learned from Daisy Marquez. I've been watching her for quite a while. Um, like, since I very first started getting into makeup. And I've honestly learned a lot from her. Also, wow, I look insane. My eyes are extremely puffy. Um, I don't know why I woke up and they were really puffy, so sorry about that i'm gonna take this morphe m506 i think i'm i'm just gonna go in like i'm just i don't even know what look i'm creating today but i want to use a lot of colors so yeah so first i'm gonna go in with bittersweet which is this nice burgundy color right here and i'm gonna pack that all in my crease oh my god I put a lot on the brush I'm not gonna blend it out yet first I'm just gonna pack it in there and oh my god this is pigmented I barely tapped in there yes bitch yes for $19 boy okay I see you miss Daisy next I'm gonna go in with the morphe e17 and I'm gonna take the color vintage which is this color right here and I'm gonna pack that right above where I just put um bittersweet to kind of blend it out I should probably zoom you guys in I'm gonna go back in with bittersweet a little bit because there is kind of still a little bit of a harsh line right here I just want to blend that out next I'm gonna go in with flower which is this yellow color right here. And I'm gonna put that above where I just put the other color. Dude, these shadows are so pigmented. I'm honestly so impressed. These are gorgeous. And they're a pretty cheap price point too, to be honest. Yo, these are so pretty. Oh my God. Daisy Boo, you did that. These are so good. I swear, one day I want to meet this girl. One day I'm going to. Mark my words. I'm going to meet Daisy Marquez one day. Hopefully. And she's from Dallas. I'm from Fort Worth. It's meant to be. It's meant. Okay, I think that's pretty damn blended. Next, I'm going to actually cut my crease. And I'm doing a full cut crease. So now my crease is cut completely. If it's crooked, don't judge it because I suck at cut creases. But I wanted to try it today. And now I'm gonna take Daisy, which is this beautiful teal color. And I'm gonna use a JH42, it looks like. It's kind of rubbed off, but I think it's a JH42. And I'm gonna pack Daisy right along that, but then I'm gonna end up cutting right underneath it. So it's just gonna be like a line of the teal. I kind of don't understand how she got these to be so pigmented. Like, this is a mint color. And she's pigmented. Like, how, Daisy? Yeah. 
Y'all, this is a look. This is so pretty. Like, I legit don't even know what to do with my myself right now. Cheers, Daisy. To a good job. I'm pleased already. Yo. So now I'm going to cut my crease again just to sharpen that up. Um, and then I honestly don't know what I'm going to do on the lid. So let's just see what happens. I think I want to go in with the same colors but reversed, but I'm not sure. So I go in with yellow and then the orange and then the other one right there. So let's go in with... I'm going to use the same brush from the teal that I just used, but I cleaned it off. And I'm going to pack it on that yellow. Okay, next using that same brush, <clears throat> I'm going to go back in with the orange, the vintage. And yes, I'm going to blend them together. Don't have a panic attack. Next is the bittersweet. Now I'm going to go in with the M506, which is a really small blending brush, and I'm going to um, blend together like the edges. Now I'm going to kind of clean up underneath. Bro, it looks so good. It's super dragged out, which I normally don't do, but... We had to go all out for this video. But anywho, really quick, I am going to go do the other eye and my base makeup off camera. So that way this video isn't like 30 minutes long. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I finally finished the look. This is what it came out like. I'm actually super obsessed with it. So overall, this palette is phenomenal. For I paid $19 for it, but it's regularly $23. But the colors in here are wonderful. There's like a good variety of colors and I like the layout of it. Like, um, well for one, I love how you can make it into like a little vanity. And then she was saying that she laid out the colors so that each line this way and this way, they kind of correspond together so that you can create a look with it. Um, but these shadows are super, super pigmented. I only tried out one shimmer. Um, I'm not a big shimmer person, but they did, like, they're really, really pretty. I can swatch a few of them. This one is slime. This is the green one. That is so pretty. And then this purple one. I'm going to do the teal shimmer. It's called Dream. Y'all, yeah. those are so pretty. I did use Icy, which is a white, in my inner corner, and it is super pigmented. I used it as like a highlight shade, and I love it. But anyways, that is it for today's video. Um, this, I definitely recommend it. It's BH Cosmetics, which I've been a fan of theirs for quite some time. Like, I have the Take Me Back to Brazil, and um, I have like their little switch pan, and I have little brush holders by them. So I really do like the brand. It's pretty good. Um especially for the price point but for 23 dollars this palette it's worth it most definitely it's worth it but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next tuesday